Uh, where was we? You were telling me about the um, was it the succubus, John? Or the incubus? The Americans made three films about it. Right. And one's called Incubus. One's called The Entity. I've seen The Entity, I'll yeah. Get the other one. But uh, that's here in the room. That that the that demon. Right. It's not a ghost. It's a demonic entity. Yep. And it's a sex demon. Right. It wants to fuck people. And uh, you're not having a nightmare. This is for real. We are wide awake. So it's no good to say you're dreaming it. You're yeah. not dreaming it. You're not even asleep. No, you feel it touching you and stuff. Touching you? It, the power of an incubus is enormous. Well, a human got no power against it. Right. That's what I read in books. And uh, it's so evil. And it can't be touched. Right. Well, this wing of the ram is 500 years old. Yep. The front part is the oldest. That is a thousand years old. And I've got the deed to prove it. So wow. when people say he's making it all up, I've yeah. got the deeds. You've got the evidence to back it up, proof. haven't you? Yeah. No one can argue with No, me. you can't argue with facts. And uh, I am also a Christian, a very strong Christian. I do not tell lies. No. I'm a great believer in uh, always telling the truth as well. I've got to give account of my life one day, and I don't want God to say, hey, you was coming up with a pack of lies. I don't want that. And uh, everything I say is gospel truth. Yeah. That's all we've got in life really, isn't it? The truth. If you go through life telling lies, then it's just not worth it, is it? Because people... Liars tell a story one day and tell it differently the next. That's right. They, they always have to remember what they've lied they about, don't they? memories. Yeah, that's right. And they can always <laughs> fall over on their own lies, can't they? Yeah. And you can say, hey, you're a liar, mate. Yeah. You said it differently yesterday. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It's lovely and warm in here, John. This is the only room I'm allowed to keep heated up. Really? The front part, which is a thousand years old, it would dry the timbers out. Oh, of course, yeah, make it dangerous. A thousand year old building mm. and the t original timbers? Yeah. I was reading some of the um, newspaper reports you've got around. It's very sad that um, English Heritage uh, was saying that for the upkeep of the place, it would be 80% of the value one of the building. for the rich. Yeah. I am not rich. No. I'm just a common train driver. Yeah. Or what? I'm retired now. Do you miss not being on the trains? Yeah. Yeah. You've got I your memories though. get back. I used to love it. Yeah. Not many jobs like that. No. I've never had a job that I liked. <laughs> Unfortunately, they've just and been through know, necessity. I would quite willingly give up a day's work free. Right. Do you ever visit um, any of the old, um, like the train museums and things like that? I wish I had the time. I am. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like going to Swindon. Okay. Have you ever been to Swindon? No, I haven't. No. Um, oh, they've we... got a magnificent museum. Right. We went near, near to it on the way up. But we did. I've never actually been to Swindon though. This is the first time I've been. This is Gloucestershire, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's the first time I've been this far up north. Is it? Yeah. Where did you say you're from? Uh, Crawley in Sussex. Oh. Uh, which is about half hour away from Brighton. Half, halfway between Brighton and London. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a long way away. Yeah, 165 miles. That's one of your cars out there, is it? Yeah. Are you on your own? No, I, I came up with, um, you know, Helen, the girl that um, <clears throat> runs the group. Uh, we no, we're know. two different groups, but we we work together. Uh, our friend Dan out there, he lives in um, Gloucester, so he he only had to come like twenty mile. Yeah. Yeah, but we 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 travelled the furthest. Oh, I'm honoured to come that far. Oh, John, it's a, it's an honour to be here because. Uh, a place with the with 
with the reputation that this place has got, it's a real honour. Do you know, what I find very hard to get hold of is it's only here because of one man. Me! Yeah, that's right. You've done so much and, I've you know... The, the bulldozers were ready to move in and flap them. Really? A thousand year building. How could they get away with it? Yeah. See, they down our way... Because I stopped it. Right. All, all credit to you for that as well. Oh, they hate my guts. Well... The councils do. Yeah. That's 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 because you standing in it stand in the way of what they want. You're one man taking a stand, aren't one you? One man fight as well. Yeah. Well, it's a lot. It's the a wonderful local building. Here was against me. Oh right. They the, wanted to see it knocked down. I oh, can't. I can't understand that. People live here. How can people not appreciate history? And do you know? I've learnt the reason why they're so hostile here. Right. Have you heard of interbreeding? I certainly have. Same families have been interbreeding, interbreeding, interbreeding for a thousand years here. And my goody heart, then they were mad. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. I can How understand can they that. How can say this place should have been pulled down years ago? Oh no, they're Philistines, aren't they? Fortunately, I got a lot of support in America. Yeah. It's ever so famous there. Yeah. Because you know the Mayflower? Yep. Some of them came from Wharton Under Edge. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And this town has done fuck all to celebrate it. Right. So I have done it. Yeah, good on ya. See, yeah. if this if this place was down where I live in Sussex, they 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 probably would do a lot more. Like you say, it's cause of, probably because of the area and the people. Yeah. You know, if this was down in Sussex, the, the people would, would be falling over themselves to try they and... They was hostile here. Jealous. Yeah. You know why? Because they probably don't make no money yeah. out of it. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Like you say, the rich men have their own laws, don't they? And I've got history on my side. Yeah. When you look at the Mayflower, you, there's the names on there. What under edge? Yeah. What under edge? <laughs> so did did you buy this building a long a long while back then, John? Oh, 50 years. Oh, you bought it, yeah, outright. Wow. Have a guess how much? And I've got enough land over there, down the garden, for four houses. Really? Oh. What's that worth? So let me think. 50 years ago. Um, Forty thousand? Two thousand. Two thousand pound. Wow. Wow. That would give away, wouldn't it? Yeah, two right. I wonder what it's worth now. Mind you, it was just about to be demolished. Right. I was taking a big risk. Yeah. I had a fight on my hand. Yeah. And you've had fifty wonderful years living here. Do, do you like living here? Yeah, you must do, otherwise you wouldn't be here, would you? I see my home giving so much pleasure to so many people from all over the world. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to do that, isn't it? I have coaxed loads of tourists coming here sometimes. Yeah. From the travel company. And uh, it's lovely. Yeah. To think that people recognise now the good that I've done. Oh, yeah, I, you, you're recognised all over the world within the paranormal field, John. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a star yourself.